I have often struggled with the concept of how to become a better photographer. I have dedicated so much of my life to improving myself and my images with the hope of one day becoming a National Geographic photographer. I've wanted it so badly at times that I've often found myself going out to shoot and practice my art almost begrudgingly. I wasn't doing it for the love or joy of the craft, but instead for the sake of attaining some preconceived notion of what it meant to be successful. Throughout the years of working to become a photographer, I've learned a few things that have drastically changed my perspective on what it means to be successful and what it means to create an image that I truly care about. So for this video, I'd like to share an essay with you that I wrote about the connection between photography and the philosophy of Taoism. I haven't decided yet if I want to call it philotography or photolosophy, so let me know in the comments which of those titles you actually think is best. Much love, and I hope if you've ever struggled as I have with improving your photography or learning how to just be more present in the moment, then maybe you'll be able to find a few ideas or insights in this video. The Symphony of Light and Thought, Photography Through the Lens of Taoism. In the delicate interplay between light and shadow, where split-second moments are captured, there lies a profound connection between the art of photography and the ancient teachings of Taoism. This relationship is more than the simple act of taking a picture. It's a dance between the external world and the inner self, a symphony of dialogue and insight, an unspoken dialogue between the seen and the unseen. To become a better photographer, we need to not focus solely on the mechanics of the craft, but embrace the Taoist philosophy of effortless action, also known as Wu Wei, which means allowing the world to unfold naturally before one's lens. So what is Taoism? Taoism is a philosophical tradition rooted in the teachings of Lao Tzu, which emphasizes harmony with the Tao, the fundamental principle that is the source of everything. The Tao is an ever-present flow that cannot be grasped or controlled, but it can be felt and experienced. The Tao is essentially unknown. Anyone who claims to understand the Tao is in fact lying to you. For the very act of claiming to understand the unknowable is a contradiction of the Tao itself. So remember, I myself do not assert any concrete knowledge of the tenets of the Tao. These are simply my own thoughts and feelings that I have observed over the years of striving to live a more connected and present life. Central to this philosophy is the concept of Wu Wei, often translated as non-action or effortless action. It's not about doing nothing, but acting in accordance with the natural order, about letting the world unfold naturally before you. In photography, this translates to a state of being where we as photographers become an integral part of the environment, merging with the rhythms and patterns of life. Instead of forcing a scene or orchestrating a moment, we as photographers need to adopt a stance of receptivity and openness, allowing the essence of the moment to reveal itself. We have all seen and looked up to photographers that always seem to be in the right place at the right time. The images they create seem effortless, as if they were nothing but the eye of the observer destined to immortalize the moment before them. This alignment with the Tao leads to photographs that are not only technically beautiful, but also imbue a deeper sense of truth and authenticity. Seeing beyond the surface, the Tao of observation. If there exists a thing as a Taoist photographer, then they would perceive the world with a heightened sense of presence and awareness, seeing beyond the surface into the underlying currents of existence. This perspective transforms the act of photography into a meditative practice, where each click of the shutter becomes an expression of the photographer's connection with the Tao. The camera becomes an extension of the self, capturing not just images, but the emotion of the moment. In the Tao Te Ching, Lao Tzu writes, a good traveler has no fixed plans and is not intent upon arriving. Similarly, a good photographer has no rigid expectations and is not fixated on achieving a particular outcome. This has been one of my biggest hangups. As I stated earlier, I always felt if I wasn't using my photography to achieve a monetary or public success, then there was no inherent meaning or reason for my art. This openness of having no fixed plans allows for spontaneity and coincidence, where the most profound images often emerge from the unplanned and the unexpected. By letting go of preconceived notions 
and embracing the present moment, we as photographers are able to tap into a deeper wellspring of creativity and inspiration. The dance of light and shadow, embracing yin and yang. Photography at its core is the art of capturing light. We use physical tools to preserve and capture photons of light, ingraining them either onto a sensor or piece of film strip. Yet it is the interplay of light and shadow, the yin and yang, that brings depth and dimension to an image. Taoism teaches that these opposites are both interconnected and interdependent. And this principle is vividly illustrated in the dance of light and shadow within a photograph. Understanding that beauty arises from this dynamic balance is where the contrast between light and dark creates an image that has both harmony and resonance. In practice, this means we must embrace the imperfections and unpredictability of the natural world. It means finding beauty in the mundane and the ordinary. Recognizing that every element, no matter how small or insignificant, contributes to the image as a whole. If we are able to follow this holistic approach, it can foster a sense of wonder and appreciation for the intricacies of existence, leading to photographs that are not only visually striking, but deeply evocative as well. The Unfolding Moment, Patience and Presence. One of the most challenging aspects of photography for me is this feeling that I need to rush that I need to capture as many images as possible in the pursuit of perfection. However, the Taoist approach encourages patience and presence, the art of waiting and observing without haste. If we can find ourselves in this state of mindful awareness, we can tune ourselves to the subtle shifts and changes of the environment around us, sensing the perfect moment to press the shutter. This patience is a reflection of the Taoist belief in the natural unfolding of events. Just as a flower blooms in its own time, and a river flows at its own pace, so too do the moments worth capturing reveal themselves in their own rhythm. We will never be able to force a beautiful moment into existence. Beautiful moments are happening all around us every day. It's our job as photographers to learn how to see them. By cultivating patience and trust in this natural process, we can learn to see with new eyes, discovering the extraordinary within the ordinary. In the end, the journey of a photographer is not about mastering all of the technical aspects of our craft, but instead finding out how to be more present and aware while we're out shooting, to find those times where we just fall away from the camera and let the world unfold naturally in front of us. By embracing the techniques of Taoism and the art of non-trying, we can go beyond the limitations of technique. We can tap into a deeper, more intuitive form of expression. It's in this place of effortless action and harmonious alignment with the Tao that truly remarkable photographs are made. Photography and philosophy, light and thought, they're both eternally intertwined. By letting go of the need to control and allowing the world to unfold naturally before us, we open ourselves to the infinite possibilities of the present moment, capturing not just images, but the very essence of life itself. I sincerely appreciate all of you who have subscribed to this channel so far. And I'm so grateful to be able to share the things I've learned with you along the way of figuring out what it means to be alive in this weird and wonderful world. Much love, and I'll see you next time here on the Kevy Chronicles.